All right, good morning. This morning we're going to look at solving polynomial equations, and we're going to consider a couple things graphically as well as numerically. First thing we'll take a peek at is y equals x squared minus 2, and our idea here is to come up with what the zeros of the function represent. And when we look at the x-intercepts, root solutions, we're looking at the value of x when y equals 0. So in this particular function, we'll take a peek at x plus root 2, x minus root 2 in factored form equals 0. And by the zero product property, we'll take a peek at x equals plus or minus root 2. Well, what I'd like to do is look at what happens with polynomial functions as we go from quadratics to cubics. So we'll take a peek at a cubic function. And if I consider um, looking at three particular cubic functions, three possible things that could occur. We'll take a peek at a cubic polynomial in its graph. And the first thing I'd like to do is place this about there and talk about what kinds of solutions it has. This certainly has one real solution and two imaginary solutions for a total of three solutions. When I look at moving this particular function, if I have this tangent to the x-axis of double root, we will have two real solutions. And if I drop this on down, I'm going to look at three distinct real roots. So when I take a peek at this particular function, we'll go ahead and paste ourselves a couple of those. We'll look at this scenario. We'll look at this scenario. I'll grab this guy. And we'll look at this scenario. Here we're going to have one real solution, two imaginary. Here we're going to have two real solutions um, with a double root. And here we will have, uh, we need three real solutions. So let me just drop that down. Three real solutions. Let's take a peek at what happens uh, to the end behavior of the polynomial functions. And we'll just go to Geometry Sketchpad real quickly, uh, made by Algebra in Motion, purchased this sketch. If f is a particular constant, then we're looking at, I slide this guy, there we go, being able to move that. If we have not just a constant, but an e value that's other than zero, then we can look at the function of a linear polynomial. When I change d, to have a constant other than zero. We'll grab this guy. We're now looking at a quadratic function, and so on. So we'll jump back to the polynomials and look at a particular application problem. And taking and cutting out very famous x out of the ends of a rectangle to create a box. And let's just take a quick peek at this sketch. We'll watch this. We're moving the x's out of the corners, the corner cuts taking that box and going ahead and folding it upwards to create an empty box, uh, no top on it, and we're going to try and maximize the volume. So when we think about volume, we're going to have the volume equals the height times a minus the 2x times b minus that 2x, and we'll capture that into our notebook file. We'll go ahead and stop this sketch jump back in, and when we're here, let me just make this a little bit smaller so we can talk about it more successfully, we can go ahead and solve and maximize this volume. Thank you.